semi that you see here over in the ditch um, for a speed. Uh, that was the infraction. Their officer engaged the driver briefly and the driver then fled. Uh, in Genesee County, the, the operator headed towards Batavia. Uh, patrol cars are engaged. There's some type of ramming uh, of this operator on their patrol cars. The operator turns around to Batavia, heads back towards Leroy, and ultimately enters our county around uh, a little before 9 o'clock. When we got involved, there's multiple vehicles involved. We're trying to spike the semi. We did get su successful spikes, but the semi continued aggressively trying to ram our vehicles. We had deputies out front blocking these roadways, trying to keep uh, our civilians safe because it's a large vehicle that, frankly, it's, it's near impossible to stop with our patrol cars. As we came through here, uh, he started firing a weapon out of his window. Uh, the, the vehicle continued eastbound on 20A here behind us. At exit eight, he took more uh, shots at our patrol. And as he went down 390, he was intermittently driving the, the speed and then slow speeds, etc. On 390, he hit a U-turn, came back to exit eight. We had several deputies there uh, with long guns that took several shots at the vehicle. The operator continued here where there was again several deputies stationed with long guns and ultimately uh, came to rest here. So that's it that I can give you now. This is all very preliminary as we work through this. Uh, we have a lot of assisting agencies with uh, the Genesee County Sheriff's Office who was involved over there uh, in the initial as Leroy started it and then all of them were involved here and the state police I believe jumped in in Livingston County. So we have a lot of scenes to tech uh, with a lot of gunfire exchanged. Um, I will confirm that the operator is deceased and we're working through the background timeline of who this guy is, why this happened, all those things that you're gonna wanna know. What was in the vehicle? Uh, we're working through that. So that's, that's part of our investigation now. If you see over there, there's crime tape up, the technicians will do their job and they'll go through it. Um, I think you stop a semi the way that we did. When he started firing at us, um, then we fired him. And, and uh, again, I, I don't know uh, if, if, if we're looking at how to stop a semi, well, there's very limited resources to do that. So we did have our MRAP en route here. That's a heavy military vehicle that is armored because again, he's taking shots. We have multiple patrol cars struck. Um, I think uh, Leroy had their car hit. I know we have a couple of our cars hit. Fortunately, no deputies, troopers, officers were hit. So uh, that's really good news. No civilians were hurt in this, but there was uh, some very, very close calls. Um, how close were the shots to our deputies? Very close. Um, at Country Club specifically, I was in the front and stack on when we're coming through here and I, radio to the car at Country Club to get behind because this is where he started shooting and the car took a, a shot right next to the deputy. So uh, again, he, he was purposely trying to, to hurt cops tonight and um, ultimately this is how it ended. Single, single operator in the vehicle. Um, hyper reach, I hear phones. We did use hyper reach to clear the roadways. That's an emergency feature that uses cell phone towers. Again, we were most concerned about civilians on the roadways because he had no regard for human life, weaving this semi all over both lanes, uh, specifically at our patrol cars. So we did use the eye pause function. We gave the tone out. So I'm sure many will say, you know, it said clear the roadways, and then we did an update once the roads were clear again. Yeah, is it certain that, that he was shot by law enforcement as opposed to this was self-inflicted? Um, I'm not going to say specifically. I, I mean. Um, I think it's safer to wait until the investigation is complete, but I can confirm that we had multiple deputy sheriffs with long guns outside their vehicles um, taking active shots at the operator. Where's, at what point do you actually decide that it's going to come down to shooting at a moving truck? Uh, when, they, when he starts taking shots at our, at our cops, um, absolutely. If, um, it, with, when gunfire is exchanged and they're trying to kill our, our deputies, and, then yeah, that's when it was decided that we would use lethal force. You said that the chase started in Leroy. Can you say exactly where in Leroy that started? Was it on Route 5 or anything like that? Yes. Uh, I, the, chief, the chief could give you specifics chief? on that. What happened? 
The officer initially stopped him for a speed on, on West Main, which is Route 5 in Leroy, uh, and he was, uh, he, right from the, right the get-go, would not follow the officer's direction, and when he, when he took off, the officer was still on the truck and had to jump off the truck as he, as he pulled away. Was that officer hurt? No. Do you have any officers hurt? Nobody has any, uh, no, no deputies, troopers, or officers were struck. Uh, again, patrol cars were struck. All the cops involved in this are accounted for, and nobody was struck. And to clarify, you had vehicles hit by the truck, but also hit by bullets. Yes. Correct. Yes. Multiple, multiple vehicle strikes, multiple bullet strikes. Did this strike your trailer ever run anybody off the road or ram any other? Rammed uh, police cars, uh, civilian cars, uh, not that I'm aware of. We had a couple close calls with civilians when we were trying to clear the roadway ahead of the truck. I know that sounds odd, like you'd think the police cars are all behind the semi, but in this case, we're putting police cars out front almost as an escort to clear the road to keep people safe that have no clue coming coming head on with this pursuit. Yeah, did multiple U-turns. Started in Leroy, went to Batavia, did a U-turn, came back through Leroy, came into Livingston County, came down uh, through the village, eastbound, went to eight, down 390, did a U-turn in a U-turn, exited at eight, and then came back here. So it was, uh, multiple U-turns in two different counties. And did he give any indication in the brief encounters that he had that uh, why this was happening? Not that I'm aware of. And again, that's part of our investigation that we're working with all our partners on to go through piece by piece and see the timeline of where this guy is from, what he's been doing, what led to this, and right up to this moment. That's, that's what we have to do. Anything on the vehicle, license plates? Again, all that will be investigated.